Hello, we talk about the text, and we talk about the ASCII, and、uh, why do we need a、uh, Unicode, right? But first,、uh, let's、uh, deal with the ASCII. Okay, here you comes a、uh, wiki. Wiki. The reason why I use a wiki because、uh, there's a tons of information.、Uh, sometimes uh, it's uh, the copyright. There's no copyright issue if I use a wiki, and、uh, so. That's why I use Wiki a lot, but the problem the Wiki、uh, sometimes too much information, right? Okay, so be sure to、uh, kind of、uh, consult with the、uh, two different、uh, version. Okay, this is a simple Wiki, right? Okay, let's do a little bit simple ASCII. Okay, A ASCII. If American ASCII, a table character for computer. It's actually the binary code, right? Binary code. Okay, and used by electron electronic equipment to handle text. Okay, we use a binary code to handle the、uh, text. Okay, why I keeping say that again? Again, but <laughs> okay. So it's a full name of the binary American Standard Code for Information. Interchange, okay. Do you know the interchange means the two different equipment? They need to send the data back and forth. So save the file, and the other side they open it. Of course, now the com computer network make this more important. If I send the text to you, and after you decode it, they change to another text. That would be <laughs> crazy, right? So we need to have a standard, okay? We need to have a standard. And this code was developed pretty early. Okay, wow, in 1960. Okay, okay, in 1960s. Okay,、uh, the code include okay 128. So actually, it's a seven bit, right? Remember, and some of it, some of it is later. Some of its、uh, numbers and even symbols. Okay, those are the printable. Okay, and what else? Okay, from this table. Okay, from this table, you can see、uh, punctuation, uh, uh, double quote,、uh, pound or hashtag. Dollar sign, percentage, urban percent, single quote, eleven、uh, right parentheses. And what about this? The first one, it seems empty, right? It's a space. Don't forget a space, right? Space is important. Space give it、uh, words, some room, so that everything will be connected, right? So,、uh, like this word for computer without space. It become the typo, right? So space actually is a one ASCII code. Okay, it's a seven bits or digit. Okay, to represent. For example, fifty-five.、Uh, uh, this seven bit is actually、uh, the number of sixty-five.、Uh, Not fifty-five, okay. If I if I divide it into four as a group, okay, and this digit、uh, become、uh, have a weighting of the sixty-four and the plus one become the sixty-five. Yes, correct. Represent the upper case of A. And the B and the C, that is, and so on. Okay, so this information is quite technical. I know it's technical, and because we are now doing tour to the programming, so the programmer, this is a necessary knowledge, is a key information for the programmer. Okay, 
And especially last time we talked about hexadecimal, it's the base 16 number system, right? Uh, sometimes we just call it hex. Okay. Okay. So, hmm. Okay, and let's move on. Let's move on. Uh, even though the computer store uh, represent ASCII in the 7 bits, but normally we computer file, we store it in one byte because uh, if it is just one bit left, sometimes it's difficult to align the memory address. Okay, well, uh, memory address location in our computer, we use the one byte as alignment. Okay. Uh, so uh, the wiki mentioned the extra spare bit they sometimes uh, use as a parity check okay you can ignore this uh, for now and then we ASCII also known as the plain text or pure text okay this is uh, so important because a uh, uh, pre-programmer will write a program we won't save this as a Microsoft Word format, right? We save it as a .txt file, okay, .txt, which means that just a pure text, no formatting, no style, no large font, just a reg regular, no colors. For some editor, they have uh, some color, fancy, uh, highlight. That's, uh, mm, that's a special feature, but when you save it, they still the one character, uh, let's say in English, one character, one byte. Okay, hmm. So that's it. And uh, below there's a table. You can see this uh, 100 and uh, uh, from 0 to 127, it's equivalent. Uh, character okay and represent into the decimal or hexadecimal okay quite cool right let's have a, a brief review mm. the things has used a square bra bracket okay here means uh, non-printable it's for control purpose, okay? And that is from, from 0 to 1F. So there's a uh, 32, okay? 32 uh, binary used for reverse purpose, okay? For control purpose. Uh, like a noun means uh, nothing, okay? Okay, the bell will generate a computer beep. Backspace, yeah? Backspace, uh, the keyboard use a lot, right? You want to go back the cursor to delete something. There's a tab, right? Tab, yeah, we have a tab key, uh, look like this. No, look like this, right? And you tap it, they will they will jump to the next uh, horizontal alignment. Okay, we have a live feed. Okay, and the carriage return. Okay, uh, it's equivalent of the hex is uh, a uh, or ten or thirteen in decimal. Okay, this two word is quite tricky. In the different operating system, they may use a simple uh, one. Uh, in the DOS, traditional DOS or UNIX, uh, they may, uh, I remember DOS have uh, this too, because a uh, line feed means a uh, new line, carriage return, uh, means uh, you want to control the uh, printer head and the rewind to the, to the uh, beginning point. Okay, line feed, re carriage return. Okay, start things like that. Okay, so a lot of things is uh, now unused anymore, but after uh, 32 or hexed uh, uh, 
two zero. Okay, hex two zero is actually starting uh, printable. Even though it's printable, it's a space. Okay, you cannot see this. You can see the effect of the space. It's just a empty, or a blank. And after that, some uh, punctuation. Okay, need to be defined the corresponding code and the number. And a little bit punctuation. Why separate the punctuation? Hmm, interesting. Maybe there's some uh, method to madness, right? Hmm, let's figure it out when we become better coder. And here comes a uh, uh, letter, okay? Alphabet, okay? From A to Z. This range. And interestingly, the small letter A to small letter D have this part. They must have a reason for this. They must have method to madness. So uh, the last one, delete, delete. We have a backspace. We have a delete. Will be the end, very end of the ASCII. Okay, here you go. And this here talk about the extension, right? Extension use uh, extra bit to represent some uh, interesting character like uh, Spanish. I don't speak Spanish. Uh, the Spanish speaker, you guys know what that is, right? Uh, okay, so some special character uh, which you cannot represent in the traditional uh, ASCII. Okay. So that's it. And when you move to the another page, uh, that is a uh, official version English edition of the ASCII. Uh, you will see this this table. Okay, this table. Of course, you can read along. Uh, uh, compared to the simple one, this contain even more, including the history. Okay, history, or uh, more detail. Okay, if you are interested, you can have a look. Oh, I just want to focus a simple one, and I would like to click on this. Okay, this one kind of interesting because uh, uh, the one is uh, look like a old table. Some people scanned it, right? So you can see from here uh, we use uh, the table use uh, seven bit. Okay, bit one, bit two, bit three, bit four. Where's it might be five, 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 six, seven. Okay, kind of uh, skillfully to locate the bit location and the high bit location in this two dimension. Okay, I find it's pretty. Okay, we know that the delete is here, now is here. Okay, so they use uh, some kind of a short terminology. Okay, I think that that's that's important because uh, when you deal with the different programming technical document, you will sometimes find this kind of information. So that is why I explained it to you. Okay. What else do I miss? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think I'm done. Okay, pretty much. Okay. End of text. Okay, act for uh, acknowledgement between the two devices. Hmm. Yeah. So here it is the US ASCII code chart. Okay. So next time we talk about what? Guess. Unicode, right? We know that it's not enough for seven, even eight, even ten. It's not enough. Unicode, that is a more advanced topic. But we need to know a little bit about it, shall we? Bye bye.